Hello. So uh, in this video, uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a HLS IP with the AXI stream interface, which will take the vector as an input and outputs the sum of the elements in the vector. So this is nothing but the accumulator. So for that, we are going to open the Vivado HLS directly. In the Vivado HLS, uh, click on the uh, create new project. Then in the browse one, select the appropriate folder. Uh, make sure you select the folder so that there is no uh, space in the address uh, one. So I'll go to my ALD folder. Then in this one, uh, lab 11 demo. Okay, this is already the name of the project folder. So HLS uh, demo, click next, next, next. Uh, here I'm going to select the Z board. So I'm creating this IP for the Z board. So select the Z board here, click OK, and then click finish. So as we know, even in the SDSSC at the backend, we use the HLS. So, and then the IP is created automatically. Here, we are manually going to create the IP, export it to the Vivado and add it into the blog guide. Okay, so this is the HLS uh, uh, project perspective. So it is very similar to the SDSSC. So you have the two uh, options here. You can add the source file, which you want to convert into the hardware and the test bench file, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to write the uh, accumulator for uh, summing the, uh, calculating the sum of the, all the elements of the array. So we'll start with the new file, add new file. Here we'll first add with the dot file. So accumulator demo dot h. So in this one, we'll start with the first defining the uh, input or array size. So let's keep it simple, eight. And then the function definition, accumulator, demo. So your input is a float. Input input array of size input size and what should be the output? It should be the output is also float one value, so it should be a pointer and it should be the accumulator of. Okay, so this is my .h file. Uh, then I'll my, add my source file with the same name. .c, you can add the .c or you can add that .cpp. So let's keep it as .cpp. So in this uh, one, uh, what we need to do, we need to write a code where we are going to add the uh, elements of the array. So we'll take the definition from the cottage file. So before that, we need to include the cottage file. I should include. Which, okay, so we are including the cottage file. Then, uh, so the function is float uh, out. Then what we are going to do, we are going to do the accumulator. So I'll just make uh, one temporary variable, which is initialized to zero. Then I'll have the for loop 
int i is equal to zero. I is less than uh, input size. And I plus plus. So what we are going to do? Accumulator is equal to accumulator plus input of I. So this is the input array. After do we do the accumulator, we are going to write the output. Okay, uh, this is the code. Then uh, if you want to add the prior prior marks, uh, we can add the prior marks here. So for example, this for loop, we can add the pipeline pragma. So go to the directive and uh, select the for statement. Inside the for statement, look for the pipeline, add the pragma in the source file. Okay, that's it. Then uh, we need to make sure that our interfaces are the stream interface. So select the interface, uh, insert directive. Then in this one, select the interface. Uh, then here you need to select the AXIS and that's it. So what we are going to select, my input array is of the type stream interface. Same is the case for the accumulator one, insert a directive interface and uh, we are again axi stream interface that's it and then uh, so if i save this okay and then we need to write a test range here in the test range let's see the tp dot cpp so in the test bench again uh, we need to include the necessary files as include the io dot h for the print statement hash include the accumulator our dot uh, file and then uh, we can write a golden demo function in our test pens to take care of the comparison so here i'll just change it to the golden function in so here we don't need any fragments because it's a software function Okay, so this is my uh, golden reference function with whom I'm going to compare and then I'll write my int main function, which is nothing but my test bench. So what I'm going to do inside the test bench, I'm going to pass the values to my golden function as well as my hardware function, I'm going to compare the value. So I will have the uh, fail flag, uh, which will be initialized to zero. Then I have my input vector float and let's say input data and the size is the same as the input size. Then I'm going to initialize this uh, input function. So uh, int i is equal to zero. Less than input size i plus plus. So let's keep it simple that uh, we will initialize the input data of i with the okay. So just keep it simple. Then uh, what we are going to do? We need to pass this uh, input values to the your golden reference and the. Uh, 
our hardware function. So output is accumulator software output and the accumulator hardware output. Okay, so this will be needed. So then golden reference, we are going to pass the input data array and the address where our output should be written because well, it's a pointer. Same is the case for the hardware function. The name is the demo. Demo input data and the output should be in the hardware function. Then what we are going to do? We are going to compare both of these values if software is equal to equal to hardware if we'll make it as not equal to because then we'll make the fail as one okay and if these both are not equal to fail will be one rest fail will be zero then for the printing one we'll compare the fail value if fail is equal to one then we are going to print f fail else pause. Okay, so this is the final and then we are going to return the fail. So in HLS, we'll create a hardware IP and it will create a hardware IP only when this uh, test bench will pass. And the test bench will pass only when you return the zero. If you return the one, that means the test bench is, will fail and the hardware IP will not be created. So this return is very important, okay? So then uh, we have done everything. So what we are going to do, we are going to first do the C simulation we will check whether the C simulation is working or not. Uh, before that, we need to tell the uh, HLS that which is your hardware function because you may write multiple uh, functions here. So you need to tell which is your top level function. So you need to go to this HLS demo, click on synthesis, and then in the top function, just mention, just copy the name, okay? So once you copy the name there, then click on the run C simulation, run C simulation, click on OK. So this will run your test bench on your C code and will verify whether the test bench is successfully completed or not. You can see that, that it's passed, so your test bench is completed. Now we'll do the C synthesis, that means your code will be uh, verified and uh, converted to the Verilog code. So in the HLS, we need to add the source files, uh, .h and this, uh, our the, uh, hardware file, test bench, then we need to do the C simulation, then C synthesis, so in the C synthesis, you will get the result same as the previous one. And you can see that your interface is T valid, T data, and T ready. So you have this interface. And in addition, you have the control signal. So if you want to avoid this control signal, you can add the additional pragma here. So here I'll add the additional pragma on the function. So I'll go to the interface and I'll use the AP control none. So what I'm saying, I don't want this AP control signals. So I'll add this AP control none, and then I'll do the resynthesis. And now you will see that those uh, those signals will not be there. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, you can see that the, now the, the block level start ideal done signals are not there. Uh, you can use those signals as well. Uh, only make sure that the start signal is connected to the constant one and your IP will work. But uh, we just want to keep it simple and you can see that our interface is done. Now uh, we are going to do the CRTL core simulation. So we'll verify that our using our C uh, test bench, it will be converted into the Verilog or VHDL test bench. And then it will test our IP whether it is working or not. Okay, click on okay. Okay, so now the, your uh, CRTL core simulation is completed. So that means your, uh, your, your got a pass here. So that means your IP is uh, working fine in the hardware, uh, in the uh, very low code is working fine. So then you need to export your IP into your uh, very low code as an IP so that you can make use it in the view order. So click on export RTL, uh, click on uh, OK. So in this case, your C Verilog code will be packaged as an IP, and then you can use that IP inside the IP catalog of the viewer. Okay, so in case uh, you want to share your IP with your friends or you want to sell your IP, what you need to do after you export your IP, go to your implementation folder. Okay, after the IP is uh, simulation is completed okay so the ip creation is done go to the implementation folder there is the ip folder and you can see there is all those all the information is there about the ip there is an additional zip file and this zip file you can share with your friends and once they add this GIF file in the Vivado uh, software, I'll show you in the next video how it is done. They will be use, they will be able to use this IP in their project as well. Okay, so this completes the process of creating the IP inside using the Vivado. And now we have exported the IP, and now we need to add the IP inside the Vivado.